Hey YouTube. Alright, this is what we're gonna do, man. Hey YouTube. Isaac's trade here. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little different here. I think uh, a lot of uh, YouTube YouTubers kind of forget to remind you new investors and even you seasoned investors um, that you gotta have an investment philosophy, okay? So you might be like, well, what do you mean an investment philosophy? Oh, bro, I ain't, I'm not, I'm, I, don't, I don't get down like that. Man, philosophy, man, what's this guy talking about? Nostradamus and stuff? No. Not that kind of philosophy. Well, I mean, in a sense, where do you think it came from? That's why you need to read for um, Richest Man of Babylon, because that'll explain a lot about investment philosophy without really having to know a lot about investment or even philosophy. It'll explain it all right there. The book breaks down everything you need to know about investment, basically. And like I said, the other book you need to go read is um, The Wisdom of Psychopaths. Well, yeah, yeah. That's the one you need to go read. That's a good book right there. That'll help you understand your um your men your mentality, your psychological part, help you um control your emotions. Cause at the end of the day, the stock market is just one big emotion roller coaster. And if you don't keep it in check, well you're gonna make the wrong decisions and the wrong decisions usually lead to money loss or bad investments should i say that probably never have a hope of ever coming back i mean you can hope for a dead cap bounce but you know that usually doesn't bounce as high as it was when some of you buy in at the high so you know let me give you my definition of an investment philosophy okay is the overall plan you have for your investment okay your philosophy is the big picture and the strategy you have built built to accomplish your investment goals okay i look at my investment philosophy in two parts okay yeah uh, the first is where i plan to house my investments or what i refer to as an investment vehicle think uh what is it ira 401ks uh what's the other one the attackable tech tech what is it taxable brokerage uh, account and then there's one more there's one more oh yeah hsa there's that one i forget about that asset go right there second is the investment themselves okay think index funds stocks bonds and real estate uh don't forget cryptocurrency you know cryptocurrency that one slaps um as examples once these two parts have been created you all have the core of your investment philosophy i mean bam that's, you can't go wrong there okay Okay, thinking and talking about money. Okay, who doesn't? Okay, when I'm not fixing vehicles or uh, fabricating steel buildings, which man, thank the Lord I don't do that no more, man, because my back can't take it no more, bro. My back be hurting all the time, but it's good. It's good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Okay, helping others get their financial lives on track. Okay. Which, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here with uh, the whole YouTube, you know, I kind of figured out some stuff. So I'm trying to, you know, teach people like, you know, yourselves, the young investors that I wish I would have learned. So, you know, I ain't here to tell you to go buy this or, you know, you need to buy 150 shares of this, you know, minimum. Nah, bro. I'm not, I don't, nah, yeah, right, <laughs> come on, dude, okay, this is definitely gonna be a two-part video right here, <laughs> you should embrace, oh, there's one more thing that I like you guys to know right here, you investment philosophy, playing the long game, okay, don't forget the long game, that's the long term, baby, investment philosophy, playing the long term, baby, we're in here for the long game, the long haul, not the short term, we're not here, like a wham, bam, thank you, man, nah, it's not how it works. Trust me, I already tried. I lost a lot. I lost some money real quick doing that in the first six months. I said, nah, we're not going to do that again. Okay, buddy? Make sure. <laughs> but when I think ultimately, it starts with how will I produce income, okay? I mean, that's how you got to build it around. That's the core, the foundation of it, all right? Most of the income produced today is short-term income, okay? You know, I mean, that's that's just the way we live in. So, unfortunately, we need uh, we need to get ourselves to think out of that short-term income, okay? Short-term's no, no fun. I mean, we get mad at all these hedges over here messing around, trying to short stuff. But you know what? We do it to ourselves, think about it man we do it all the time man i know i sell myself short all the time bro man i'm just like well i mean maybe not 
but sometimes, you know, I sell myself short, but baby, I get back up on my feet, and I'm like, man, I'm, where's that bike at? Where's that bike at, man? I'm gonna break this dude, man. It might hurt my toe, I'm fucking broken nail or something, you know? Nah, give me this bike. But uh, short-term income, long-term income will be the main focus of my investment philosophy, okay? Because that, that's just the way it is. That's where it's at, man. Short-term, the, the income I need today is for my ability to produce income. In the past few years, it has been uh, it's been predominantly came from working a W two job, self employment income, and rental real estate. So, I mean, long term, the income my wife and I will rely on in the years ahead will be income generated from investments in the stock market. I mean, whilst my wife and I have more aggressive goals. The most uh, uh, for investing and creating wealth, the short and long term income plans remain the same. I mean, create income by investing in the stock market. I mean, end of the day, you get the stocks, you get real estate. But I mean, uh, the, the best thing to do is get both. I mean, you don't just do one. I mean, that's 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 the game plan. OK, the, in the income may be from dividends or selling the investments after years of compound growth. OK, remember that you don't just buy and be like oh it's gotta go bro i'm going to the next one man they said to go buy bb i'm over there oh wait 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 what do you mean future fuel yeah i'm there i'm all, I'm all over that one bro but wait, wait but what happened with the amc oh well you see what happened was i just couldn't wait man you know how many what the heck i mean the other day when we had the 420 thing for the deutsch i mean people were crying about losing a cent that was like Dude, you just bought it an hour ago. You sold it already? It's like, but why? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, well, I lost it. It was down 100 bucks. I was like, well, what do you think you do here? You don't go to the casino and just fucking, you know, what? Like, bam! Jackpot, baby. I'm going home. I'm done. <laughs> nah, man. You know, thank the Lord. I don't do the casino no more. But, man, I played that same machine for about a month. I get that mofo about five six grand you know it paid out about 24 was it 24 25 thousand dollars it was a good day that day it was a good day that day but all right let's get back to the philosophy anymore okay a compound growth baby the reason i emphasize this emphasize this is because our long-term goal is to rely on income generated from investment from investments so it's important to utilize strategies that make long-term investing as effective and productive as possible okay what no he didn't what the heck this, whoa bro relax okay benefits and strategies retirements accounts i mean you you you'd be surprised how many people my age and even younger don't have a retirement plan you ask them what's your retirement plan they're like well you know top robin <laughs> it's like well what do you mean top robin you know it's just not good for your intestines man it just gets you plugged up bro no <laughs> oh lord please <laughs> okay benefits and strategy retirement accounts the best way to produce long-term investment results is to use the correct investment vehicle i mean you gotta remember man you gotta be in the right vehicle man we're not gonna go off-roading in a little hot well, well Hang on, I mean, I mean, you probably would go off road in a little Honda, you know. I know I've done it, but I mean, there was this one time where, where you know, we got stuck. And I had to call my dad up. Well, actually, I didn't even call him up. I got to ride home, and he was still up. Old bastard! I was like, uh, I need to bottle some bourbon real quick, and he's like, What'd you do? like well there was a golf course and you know it was a big hole and i told him not to do it and then we did it and uh, yeah and he's like well i'm coming with you but you know yeah that was, that was that was that was that was that was not a good vehicle for that that situation out there we didn't know there was going to be a golf course there we're out there in the desert off-roading in a honda like some idiots so you know i mean you gotta be in the correct vehicle bro i mean come on man a few of the investment vehicles we use to create this efficiency is through retirement accounts. These investment vehicles have not have tax advantages. Okay, remember that. A lot of people are forgetting this year's. I mean, last year, oh my god. I mean, what was my return? It was seventy nine percent on the on my Fidelity account, but I had a lot of short term investment in it. 
I mean, anything under a year is short term, and they come in, man, they're like, mm, bop, what are you doing? Not, don't do that. I mean, our advantages to the long term investor. Okay, my current investment vehicle includes a 401k Roth, a 401k, a Roth IRA. Oh, I love the Roth IRA and the HSA plan. Okay, I also have five other uh, brokerage accounts, which I, I I put in about two grand, two to five grand in each one, and I'm just you know playing with them to see what could be done. Okay, I'm gonna start a challenge here pretty soon to see see what see what an amateur can make happen with the correct philosophy okay remember that man we're here to sound like we're sophisticated you know i'm like man what if we're talking about philosophy oh man he's all right okay so now let's get on a 401k plan i want to cool you, i want to school you guys right here these little kids right here man oh i wish i wish i was young again man i wish someone has taught me some of this stuff man oh my lord bro i would have came in here i would have been slaughtering stuff okay so let's get over there back to this okay so what is a 401k plan you ask okay a 401k plan is a qualified deferred compensation plan. Yeah, it's all right there, bro. It says it all in the name. It says comp qualified deferred compensation plan. <gasps> that means that it's qualified to defer your compensation plan. It's going to hook you up, okay? That's the plug, bro. Okay, a tax preferred investment vehicle that is usually set up through your place of employment meant for retirement. So you know you better go hit that your hey yo, yo, I need I need a 401k, bro. Okay, you know, you've been working me all these long hours, and you know, I, I need I need I need to be taken care of, okay? Because where am I gonna be in 20, 30 years? Okay, we ain't worried about where you're gonna be. Well, I mean, I yeah, yeah, I'm worried about you in the next month, maybe three months, but that's not really the end of the game plan. The end of the game plan is 10, 15 years. You know, for the younger folks over there, man, you guys can go for 30, 40 years, man. You know what I mean? Let's, let's do this, baby. Run it to the moon. Not, you know, with some of these other moon plays, but, you know, it's cool to have a little bit of a moon play. I ain't going to talk down, you know, and all that stuff at that could show. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. You know, I'm pretty good at calling. I was there for Kodak, baby. I was there for Kodak. I was there for, uh, what was that other joke company? Oh, Nicola. <laughs> Nicola? Nicola? Oh, my Lord, man. I made a killing off that company. Uh, yeah, but that one at Kodak, man, especially Kodak. That one was nice. Poor company. Okay, I was there. Okay, so current strategy. Okay, main benefit of a 401k account save money for retirement, save taxes today. Okay, remember that. Bam, today. We're trying to save money today for the long term. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, and then you got company match. Okay, okay. Current strategy. The reason we invest it. Uh, well, whoa, 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 whoa. current strategy. The reason I invest in a 401k is first and foremost to save money for retirement and to. In 2020, we have automatically deducted 19000 which is the current single max contribution. The amount is allowed to grow tax-free, okay? Remember that, tax-free, until we decide to short-take distributions and collections, okay? Remember that, keyword short, okay? Okay? Oh, no, 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 no. This amount is allowed to grow tax-free until we decide to start taking distributions and collecting our retirement income. Okay, remember that. Bam. Okay, a big bonus today is that this money is not taxed by the federal government. For example, if this 19000 was uh, was taxed at the 24% tax rate, we would pay $4,556. Oh, my God. God and taxes. Whoo, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by contributing to our 401k retirement account, we pay zero in taxes today, man. I wish I'd have known that sooner, man. That's why I want you guys to know. Instead, we have adopted to pay taxes later in life and potentially not at all. But did he just say that's how the rich get away with it? Because they're in it for the long term. It's not because they're controlling the system and because they're like, oh, you know, we don't like you fools. Well, I mean, in a way, they don't because we keep we come in with just a short game, man. They don't come in with a short game. They came in with a long, and then they're like, ah, right, we're going to hit them with a short. Yeah, the two-piece, okay? 
Not only are we saving money in the taxes, but my wife's company, oh, Lord, is also matching a portion of her contribution, okay? The company match is money in addition to the 19000 she is adding from her salary. This is often spoken of as, uh, what was the word she used again? God damn it. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was free money. <laughs> How am I going to forget that word? Our word was free money. I heard that and I was like, yeah, run it. Okay, so we got free money. And, and I'm not, okay, and I'm not one to argue with free money. I mean, <laughs> I usually do a lot of argument with her. I'm one for a confrontation, but once a free stone in there, I was like, yeah, okay, I, I I fucks with you, okay? Games gets me excited. I'm like, let's go, baby, to the moon. Run it. Okay, by contributing to a 401k, we save money today on our taxes. Invest money from our investment in the long term. I mean, invest money from our retirement in the long term. We receive extra money in the form of a company match from my wife's employer. Because cause I'm shocked. I'm self-employed. I ain't trying to do that no more. I'm cool. She's got to suffer a little longer. I'm sorry, baby. I, I love you, baby. I love you. She went, I mean, you went to the army, girl. You did. All, you got it, okay? She went to the army. She got all the benefits. Run it, okay? This is a big investment money. This is a big investment money, okay? M m m must in our investment philosophy, okay? This is a big investment money must in our investment philosophy. Creating investment philosophy is king. Okay, now I'm going to jump into our IRA. No, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to end it right there because, you know, I know you guys got uh, attention spans of goldfish. Yeah, I read about this the other day. I'm going to tell you guys another video, but that's it right now. Now, don't forget, this isn't financial advice in any which way before you before you buy or sell any asset, consult with a professional. If not, don't be lazy. Do your own DD. Get up. Look at some charts. Read some stuff. You know, read some articles. Listen to some random guy on YouTube. I mean, that's why I need you to go down and smash that like button and snap that subscribe button and ring my bell, baby. Because you know what? I'm here for you. I'm going to try to show you guys what's up for the long term. Forget that short mess, man. That's too stressful, man. You guys must like being stressed out. Fucking little weirdos. I'm out, baby.